What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I got to sit down and do a video for you guys. I know my last couple of vids have been voiceover style, so it's nice to actually be able to sit down and chat with you throughout this haul. I just got back from Sephora and it is the Sephora VIB 15% off sale and every time they have those sales I get really excited. I feel like I'm winning the lottery. I get to splurge on items that I probably normally wouldn't get because of the price but I do want to say before I start with this haul that I am using natural light from my window over here so if it appears that this half of the video is a lot brighter than this side that is why sometimes you dolls will leave me comments saying like Kayla why didn't you fill in your other eyebrow that's awkward it's not that I didn't fill in my eyebrows because that would be crazy right it's just my window over here I don't have light coming in from the other side but with that being said let's go ahead and jump into the haul before it gets too late but this is just the little flyer that came in my mailbox telling me about this sale. Oh, I just threw this in the bag, but I did go to Ulta earlier this morning. This is not from Sephora. They used to carry Lorac, and I looked on their site and I noticed they don't sell Lorac anymore, so I think that's really crazy. But you can find this at Ulta stores. It's just my everyday face powder. It's the Perfection. And I have mine in the shade PF3. I've been using this stuff for at least two years, and I love it. I go in between shades all the time, but that's just what it looks like just a mineral pressed powder. I love this stuff. Let's go ahead and get through everything else. So the main purpose of me going out to Sephora today was to get a new moisturizer. I ran out completely of the one that I was using and I didn't want to go ahead and splurge on that again because it was pretty expensive. So I went to the Clinique section and got this. I've tried this out before in the past. This is the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. And I can't remember exactly if I love this compared to the lotion version, uh, but we're going to give it a try. That's why I got it in this smaller travel size. The next thing that I got from Sephora is a little powder puff. I love using these type of applicators for my face powder after setting my foundation and concealer. So this one is by Laura Mercier. It was around $12 or so, again, before the discount that I applied to my purchase. But I've never tried this particular powder puff, is that what they're called? This one I definitely will be keeping in my makeup bag, um, in my purse and stuff for touch-ups throughout the day. The next thing that I picked up is another Laura Mercier product. I love their foundations. And currently I'm using the Silk Cream Foundation in Sand Beige, but they recently got rid of that and repackaged the product and reformulated it as well. So I ended up going with the Silk Cream Moisturizing Photo Edition Foundation and I wanna say that I'm really excited about this. I swatched it on my skin today in the store and I could honestly see such a difference in the formulation of this compared to the old Silk Cream Foundation that I'm using right now. So I definitely do plan on doing a first impressions, review, demonstration, application type of video. So if that's something that you guys are interested in, please let me know. But this is what the new packaging looks like. So I'm really excited about that to see how it completely compares. And it's supposed to last for 12 hours. Why are you staring at me like you just did something? This is Leroy. Leroy, say hi, dolls. This is something so fun. I'm, again, excited about this. Guys, I haven't purchased makeup in so long that it's like I don't even know what I need. I don't even know what's good. I just go to the store, see what I like, and then I pick it up. This is something I need. I love to contour my face, you guys. And I don't have, like, a specific contour palette or contour anything I just use a bronzer and sometimes I feel like my bronzer is a little bit too bronze to be contouring with so I got really excited when I saw this in the NARS section at Sephora and this is a contour blush blush sculpting duo I guess is what they call this and my shade is Paloma NARS packaging is just phenomenal I don't think any other brand can beat how sleek this is there's nothing like a new piece of NARS makeup because once you start using it you get fingerprints and makeup all over it so it's no longer as adorable but I'm really excited about this and I'm excited to start using it but this is the duo get rid of that little paper so this is the duo my screen is a little bit brighter than when it's picking up in person but this is a lot lighter of a shade than a bronzer that I would typically use to contour my nose or my cheekbones. I don't have any bronzer or blush or highlighter on my face today. And it also comes with this lighter shade, which you can use to reflect the light. Again, it doesn't have shimmer in it. These are both mattes. 
uh, but I think together they're gonna be really fun to play around with and I'm excited to go ahead and try this little boy out. I got something that is totally a splurge and it is a new fragrance. I like to buy my fragrances on these sales that Sephora does because otherwise perfumes are just ridiculously overpriced. So this is the Chanel Chance and the man in the section at Sephora was helping me and I was like, dude, I don't know what perfume to get. I really want something new. I'm tired of using my Be Delicious or my Marc Jacobs Honey. I really like pretty fragrances, but I just, I'm so overwhelmed. Please help me. So he recommended that I try this and I loved the fragrance of it, you guys. I was gonna go with the Chanel Mademoiselle, but that one was a little bit too strong whereas this one's more light and fresh which is what I like in a fragrance I feel like it goes with my body chemistry a lot better so this is the packaging I like buying my perfumes in the smaller bottle so I can toss them in my purse it's a lot easier to travel with them like this oh my goodness smelling it again just makes me feel so in love I love 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 this I don't like the top of this I feel like for Chanel it's a little bit cheap and like plastic like and for the price you would expect something a little bit nicer but I can say that the fragrance itself definitely outweighs the cap of the packaging it's really hard sometimes to find something that you like that works well with your body chemistry like you might spray it on and like it one minute and then two minutes later you might be like ew what is that you know what I mean and that's the struggle that I have when it comes to finding new fragrances and stuff so that is my quick little Sephora haul for you guys today. I'm so happy to be doing sit down talk style videos. I really honestly missed sitting down and talking to you guys face to computer screen. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you like hauls, hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to leave a comment down below with something that's on your wish list right now. What is a makeup product? or a beauty item that you are just dying to get your hands on. So let me know in the comment section below and I will see you guys next time. Dear Jesus.